All right, this video was by request. My students had trouble with solving profit word problems, so I'm gonna do solving a profit word problem by completing this square. And this comes right off a handout we do. So I'll just show you question two here. It says, Rachel and Ken are knitting scarves to sell at the craft show. The wool for each scarf costs $6. They were planning to sell the scarves for $10 each, the same as last year when they sold 40 scarves. However, they know if they raise the price, they will be able to make more profit even if they end up selling fewer scarves. They have been told that for every 50 cent increase in the price, they can expect to sell four fewer scarves. What is the selling price that will maximize their profit? And what will the profit be? So two questions to answer. Let's get started. The first thing we're gonna do is create a variable x. And x will represent, let x represent the number of increases. That's our first thing. Now it's a profit question, which means we need revenue and costs. Let's start with the revenue equation. Revenue is always, even if you didn't take math, the amount of money you pull in the revenue is the price times the number of items you sell. That's true, even not in a math class. But what's gonna be tricky here is taking this word problem and changing it into the equation for revenue. What's the price? Well, let's look through this problem. It's $10. Some people like to underline here. This is my original sheet though, so I can't underline or highlight, but you should probably. It helps a lot of people. Nonetheless, here's the price, $10 each, but every time they increase the price, we're talking about a 50 cent, cent increase. So that means we can represent price as 10 or $10 plus 50 cents, 0.5, times X, the number of times they increase it. That's an expression for price. And again, revenue is price times number of items. So let's look for number of items. The number of items they're gonna sell is 40, except every time they raise the price, they, accept, they expect to sell four fewer. It's here, it's not a number with a digit, but it's a number four with letters. So the number of items they're gonna sell is 40, take away four for every time they raise the price x. Let's go over that. Their revenue is $10 plus 50 cents every time they raise the price and their number of items they sell is 40 minus 4 every time they raise the price. That's their revenue. What's their cost? In the word problem it tells you each wool scarf costs $6. So the total cost that they're going to be is $6 times however many they sell, number of items again, which is the same expression, 40 minus 4x. Let's go over that. The cost to make the scarves is six times the number of scarves, number of items they have. So it's six dollars times 40 minus 4x, which represents how many scarves they sell. Now we can write a profit equation. If you remember, profit, and you'll need to know this, Profit is revenue minus cost. Our revenue is 10 plus 0.5x times 40 minus 4x. All takeaway, don't forget this minus, it's very important. 6 times 40 minus 4x. Okay, well now you're back to basic grade 9 skills, which is foil and rainbow. You can watch videos on that, expanding using foil. So, back to this question, let's do that foil. 10 times 40, 400. 10 times negative 4x is negative 40x. Now 0.5 times 40, that's half of 40, that's plus 20x. And 0.5 times negative 4, again, feel free to use your calculator. I know timesing by 0.5 is just halving, so I get negative 2 and x times x negative 2x squared. Don't forget to do this cost part and rainbow in the 6 with the minus. Minus 6 times 40 is minus 240 and minus 6 times minus 4x a minus times a minus is a plus so I get plus 24x. Now I'm gonna put things in the right order and collect like terms. First thing is this negative 2x squared that goes in front when we make a quadratic. We like the x squareds in front. Now the x's. Again, feel free to use a calculator. won't judge you. 
minus 40x plus 20x, that's minus 20x's, plus 24x, so that gives us a total of plus 4x. That's minus 40 plus 20 plus 24 gives plus 4x. So that's done, that's done, that's done. All I have left, so is that. All I have left is this 400 minus 240. What's 400 take away 240? You could do that in your head. I'm pretty sure it's 160, but just showing I won't judge you. Here's me using my calculator. 160. So I have a parabola now for profit, negative 2x squared plus 4x plus 160. And if you remember the question, here it is, number two, it's asking us, what is the selling price will, that will maximize? When I see that word maximize, I, I know it means the maximum, which means I need the vertex, which means complete the square. There are videos, in particular there's one really good video on how to complete the square. Please watch that if you're not sure what I'm doing now. What I'm going to do now is complete the square. I'll rewrite my equation over here. Negative 2x squared plus 4x plus 60. Sorry, plus 160. And the first thing you do when you're completing the square is take the coefficient of the x squared out of the first two terms. And only the number, and only out of the first two terms, not the third one. I pull out this negative 2 from negative 2x squared. I'm just left with x squared and I pull out negative 2 from 4. When, when I say pull out, I'm dividing. What's negative 2 divided by negative 2? Here I got 1. What's 4 divided by negative 2? Negative 2. So I get negative 2x. Leave the 160 alone. Again, I would refer you to the complete the square video. In it, I show what I'm doing here, which is I look at the x terms coefficient, which I call the xtc. It's negative 2. I divide it by 2 and I get negative 1, and I square that, I get positive 1. So my next step in completing the square is write this square number in the brackets, the plus version first, then take it away to rebalance the equation. The 160 just stays there. And so I have negative 2 just sitting in front still. And now complete the square. These three form a perfect square with whatever the div 2 is this negative 1 pops out of the brackets and when you do that it has to get times by this coefficient plus 160 still there we're almost done remember we're completing the square so we can see the vertex so we can see the maximum so I have negative 2 x minus 1 squared look how I changed my negative 2 style that's fine as long as I can clearly read it here I have negative 1 times negative 2 that's positive 2 plus 160 gives 162. And now I can see what I'm looking for. The question asked me, what is the selling price that will maximize their profit? Therefore, the selling price is, and you know, maybe we should show a little bit of work here just to make sure you understand where I'm getting this from. I'm going to calculate their selling price by looking at the vertex. The vertex here is 1. Flip this x value, this h value for x you always flip. But uh, x value of the vertex is the number of increases. So we should have one price increase. Remember the price started at 10 and goes up by 50 cents for each price increase and the vertex here is at 1. So my price will be 10 plus 0.5 times 1 which gives me 1050. So, to maximize profit, I use this vertex x and I use it to calculate the price using my price value. The price to maximize profit is 1050. So, I'll write that the selling price is 10 is $10.50 to maximize profit. And then the second part of the question read what will that profit be? The maximum profit will be, and that's this vertex y, $162. And we've done it. What did we do? We spent some time setting up equations for revenue and cost. That gave us our profit equation. And since we were trying to find the maximum value, that tells us to get the vertex, which is complete the square. That completed square told us both what the 
max profit will be and what we need to do to get the max profit in the context of this problem, it's selling price.